Hi and welcome to Consider This. When, when I think of mission, I normally think of a missionary. Somebody that goes and they go with a certain right, purpose. Right. But what does a missionary do? I think it's like evangelism. Okay. Like exactly what you said. Go out, go preach the gospel. Yeah, and if I think of a missionary, I always think of people who go overseas. They, mm. they uh, yeah, on this big project. Yeah, that's what I and think. They, yeah. But is it goal oriented? Do they have a, like a goal, a specific goal that they want to, to meet? I think missionaries go for a certain purpose to save souls or okay. to, to yeah. tell people about Christ. Okay. So in a way, that can be our mission as well. So does everyone, if you're a Christian, does, do all of us have, do we have to have a mission, yeah. should I rather ask? Or is there only some people who are on this mission? That's a good question. I mean, when I'm a Christian, does it mean that I have to go overseas mm -hmm. necessarily? Like you say, like a missionary. Do I have to go stay to, I don't know, Kazakhstan or wherever <laughs> to be a missionary? Or can I be a missionary here? Should I be a missionary? Is that what oh, you're asking? Oh, yes. But now you, you're making me think of the song. I, I don't know if you guys know Steve Green. Yeah. He, he writes a song um, where he says, Across the street or around the world, the mission stays the same. But it's to love the Lord our God. And to show people um, who Jesus is. Right. So I think it can be your neighbor. It could be it could be Kazia. I could maybe tell her today what God has done for me. Right. Because that's our mission to yeah. exalt God, to, mm -hmm. to tell people of his love. But now mission, like you say, we have to tell them of his love, but do we necessarily have to tell them? Can't we do it in, in certain ways? Show yeah. them, yeah, like service. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I think is so. it always preaching and doing all those things? In fact, I think service reaches out a little bit more. Mm. I yes. remember we were having a little project and we're in a mall. And, you know, this little girl came and asked me, what are you guys doing? And I explained to her and she was like, I want to do that, you know. And oh. it's like it sucked her in, but, mm. with, but subconsciously, like she didn't realize, like, you know. And it's like it showed her more than I told her. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of thing. Wow. So. And I think as, as Christians, we should all, always follow Christ or be, try and be like Christ. I mm. mean, if we had to look at him and see what he does on earth, mm. his mission was to firstly to save our souls, but also to serve us. Mm -hmm. I mean, he says he came to serve, not to be served. Right. Mm. So it's kind of a two pronged thing, yeah. um, salvation and service. Right. But then so what, how do you lead people to God? Is it always preaching? Is no. it? No. How can it's you not. do that? And you know what I discovered just recently? You can reach to other people even wider just by your actions, just by living a Christian life. Yeah. Someone asks you, why are you so happy? Yes. You know? And, you're like, and you're like, well, <laughs> but they can see the God in you, you know? Mm. You're joyful, wow. you're peaceful kind of thing, you know? Yeah. It's not always through word. In fact, through service, through showing, it might, you might just get along some, and not everyone is a vocal person. Okay. Not everyone oh, speaks yeah. to everyone. Yeah. Some people are actually yes. quite toned down and quiet. And so you know, we can be hypocritical right. when, when we say things and we don't do them. Yeah. And it, yeah, actions speak louder than words. I, I think as Christians, um, all of us have a mission. Yes. Salvation and service. Right. We want to be like Christ and He's given us this great opportunity to help him, to be co-laborers with him, mm. to lead people to Christ and right. to, to broaden his kingdom. Right. And we're there to serve as well. It, it changes our character, it does something to us. Um, it, it does something to our own spirituality. I mean, when you, when you read something interesting, when you are um, seeing God work in your life and you're witnessing to it, mm. you start to just grow spiritually yeah, as right. well. But so, Quentin, as youth, I also think just because we're young, we're mobile. Mm. We're very yeah. easily moved. So I think it's better for us at, at our youth mm. to start mission mm. work, and you know, to just go out and do yeah. stuff. I mean, I love children. Oh, I love kids. Mm. It's just it, for me to cook that Sabbath lunch and to take it and to give it to the kids. Yeah. And, you know, it's, I That's mean, awesome. yeah, because we're young. Do you think that as youth globally now, not just in, in your country, but globally, um, youth mission should be the same everywhere. I mean, South Africa and Kenya and America and everybody's mission should be the same. Or will there be a different mission for mm. the people, say, in India than they would be in Botswana? I think um, the mission to show people God's love yeah, would be the same, yeah. but maybe the needs ways. of the people would be okay. different. And you could... You could show them God's love in different ways. Mm. Say, yeah, say maybe you're in South Africa, you know that there's maybe a lot of poor people that you know, or you know around the corner there's this lady and she 
she broke her leg and uh, yeah it's maybe a neighbor you know well and she just needs someone to visit okay. her yeah. like the mission would change where the needs are different so it's kind of an umbrella thing salvation and service yes but and then, then it breaks down it breaks down and yeah. i think that's why youth can kind of gl grasp onto this because yeah. we're so creative and like you said mobile we can yeah. kind of think on our feet so we can mm -hmm. make it creative mm -hmm. we can think of new ways to do it um, maybe make a magazine or start a music yeah, ministry. Yes. Use your talents as well. Awesome. Right. What God has given yes. you. Um, like we said, it's not just preaching, but it's living the word That's and true. using your talents. That's right. Um, now, how do you think, as, I mean, I'm a young person now sitting at home watching to this program, and I'm thinking, okay, I have a mission. I should do, do something, but I don't know what to do. The best place to start is your talent. Mm. Okay. Right? Just know what you love to do. Yeah. I love to talk. It's not my fault, <laughs> but I love to talk. <laughs> so I must use my, 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 my wording yeah. and yeah. My, my, my vocal skills, okay. you know, and reach out to people. What else? What else can you... Audrey, what do you like? Uh, I love music. Okay. Yeah. And I like, I like singing. And I also love kids, like you said earlier on. So I like yeah, teaching, helping kids to know God, so education. So you can use your ministry what you like, your talents. Mm. You like talking, you like singing, maybe you like drawing. Mm. I mean, the people that made this set, maybe that's their ministry that they're working on. Yeah. Definitely, I think we can do this. When we come back after the break, we'll have a, a guest in the studio that will talk a bit more about youth and mission and how we as young people can get active. So we saw the need for relevant Bible-based media aimed at youth and young adults that could counteract the effect of destructive messages in media, like violence and immorality. Not just in one city, one country or one continent, but the whole world. So how do you create something real, wholesome and get it to be available not just somewhere, but everywhere? Two heads are better than one. So if you take a few heads from a number of countries and transcend the cultural differences to isolate the real issues, you can use a collaboration of mission-minded individuals who work in television, film, radio, the internet and other forms of media to make a tangible difference. When you connect individuals, ministries, organizations and companies globally who share the same vision, you exponentially increase their sphere of influence. So why not connect, create and counteract. 